The door has seen better days. The layer of paint has started to peel off due to the salt and wind from the sea. Even the lock looks slightly rusted. I'll wait outside to give you some time and privacy to check out your new living arrangement and look for any signs of Ruby. But just so you know, after we are done with the day, I'll still be staying in the whirling and rags for the night. We'll meet in front of the shack in the morning. The key turns with a satisfying click. You can enter the shack now. On the table, you see a bowl of water, a rough soap, and next to it, a small hand mirror. A straight razor soaks inside the wash basin. The water reflects back a vague image of your face. Nose bulbous and red, hair unkempt, wrinkles lining the eyes and forehead. The stash is gigantic. A fresh start looms ahead. Clean yourself up and be born anew. Like an artist with a brush or a master swordsman, you use the small mirror and the straight razor with some soap to remove all that unkempt hair from below the nose line. The sharp blade chafes against your skin, producing a scratching sound. The surface underneath the bed feels tender, the air brushing against it chilly. They feel so smooth, surprisingly so. A feeling of freshness overcomes you, as if you just came from a cold bath. The water reflects back a vague image of your clean-shaven face. Despite the bulbous nose, unkempt hair, and persistent swelling, you look a little younger, maybe. You almost look like a professional. Yes? Yes. Uh, um, um, I don't know what to say. Uh, <clears throat> perhaps... Uh, I'm not really sure about this turn of events. I think the mutton chops might have been a better idea. They sort of seem to cover up some of the... Um, either way, good on you. You were saying? <laughs> 